Hartelijk dank. Mr. Papessian, uh, you live in Geneva. Uh, why in Geneva? How do you come to live in Geneva? Well, my grandfather left Turkey in 1897. That is a year after the first big massacres which took place under the Sultan Abdel Hamid, where 300,000 people were massacred. We tend to forget that there was a first massacre, a big one, in, 19, in 1896. So my grandfather thought it better and picked up his family and left Turkey and his homeland and went overseas. Mm. And he went to Egypt? He went to Egypt and uh, where I was born. Mm -hmm. And I left in 1962 for economic reasons, like most Armenians did at that time. And I was lucky enough to come to Switzerland. What's your connection and function with the Armenians there? I'm the president of the church committee, also a member of the central committee. We tend to cultural and religious matters in the community. Mm -hmm. What exactly is an Armenian? Well, you're born the nationality you are. I was born an Armenian. It's a matter of upbringing, culture, religious feelings. Well, it's the same thing as how you would feel being a Dutchman. Mm -hmm. One is Dutch and one is Armenian, and that's that. And I feel an Armenian very strongly. Well, most people, if they've ever heard of Armenians in this country, uh, know about the attacks that the terrorist groups of the Armenians, the Asala, uh, do on Turkish officials, uh, well, everywhere in the world, you might say, since 1973, I think. Right. What do you think of these uh, terrorist attacks? Well, I would be lying if I said to you that my first reaction was a feeling of justice has been done. But as a Christian, of course, I cannot approve of terrorism. We've been trying for years to have a dialogue with the Turkish authorities to try to come to some understanding with peaceful means. As nothing came out, some youngsters have turned to violence. We understand them, although we don't approve of the methods. Um, why is it, what's the real reason that the Turkish officials are discriminating and persecuting the Armenians? Is it because they have claims for national territory? Is it a religious affair that Islamic people don't like Christians? What is it? I wouldn't generalize for the Islamic people who don't like Christians. In Turkey in particular, it was a, a matter of exterminating a people uh, who might have had claims of regional independence. And they thought that with the 1915 massacre, the Armenian problem of an eventual independence would be solved by massacring all of them. Now a small number has remained mainly in Constantinople, and well, they are being not massacred physically, but morally, by being denied any type of religious freedom, language freedom. We call it a white massacre, a moral massacre now. Well, when we go to the Turkish embassy and we have been there and we said we we're going to make a program on the Armenian situation and on the massacre and on the persecutions of today, they said, oh, well, that's... Uh, that's not true at all. There wasn't any massacre. And then they brought up a nice little film of an Armenian bishop in Istanbul who said that everything was quite free and uh, they were very happy living there and it was all lies and... Well, I mean, I'm not surprised at that. Because if the Turkish government recognizes the genocide, there would be also reparations demanded. They cannot possibly recognize the genocide because they would not want to give any reparations to the Armenian nation. That is why they firmly deny it. And, and I don't think it will change. And what is your main effort in this course? What do you really try to, uh, yeah, to gain by your efforts? By my efforts, I would like the Turkish government to recognize the genocide. I believe by the recognition of the genocide as a first step we will calm down the terrorist activities because uh, nobody becomes a terrorist just for the fun of it. There are some idealists among them. The methods are not correct. 
but they are idealists among them. And they felt so frustrated by being denied a moral justice of a recognition of the genocide that they had to go to extreme methods to hear the voice of the Armenians heard throughout the world. France has a big uh, Armenian community, I think over 300,000 uh, people. I think uh, François Mitterrand made a good declaration uh, some days ago. Yes, it was on the 7th of January, uh, the day after the Armenian uh, feast. And he did make a declaration which uh, overjoyed us. He was the first president of any European country which has come out with an official declaration of recognition of the genocide. And I hope that with our presence today here, something will be done by the Dutch government as well. It may be a second step and that other European nations will finally repair the injustice done.